Wasn't places. Wasn't it the beginning of your yeah, yeah, it was the hardest thing to set up. Right. No, it was for open, open girls when I first started. Right. That was the hardest thing to set up, it was a three-year undergraduate. Oh. We're here today to talk about uh, a really exciting, innovative new anthology of writing that's been produced by not just the staff and the students, but for lots of writers outside our universities, from Manash and from Warwick. It's a project that we've been working on for about eight months, and this film is the virtual launch of that book worldwide on the internet. Chandani, when we first met and talked about this, what were your kind of feelings about this? One of the feelings that I had about this was that all writing at its best is creative. And that actually you didn't just have to produce an anthology of poems and stories, you could actually go even wider than that. You could actually go into philosophy, you need to business. What was your kind of feelings about that when we talked about that at first? That all writing had been creative. Yes, my biggest bit of excitement and challenge was that it was dealing with the theme of voyage the theme of the journey which between the two universities and the ways in which the contributors gave us their you know, most, the innermost thoughts about it uh, became a kind of world issue, a kind of moving out rather than in uh, the journey, the voyage, all that, all that I think was very exciting to me. See one of the things that was kind of forbidding and challenging about this was that you're on the other side of the planet, you know, you're ten and a half thousand miles away. And, and we don't, we, we never met when we first came up with this. Um, for some, for some, it's almost like a, a journey through time and space. And then when finally your, your team from Manash University came to Warwick, and we went out into the rather wild Warwickshire countryside to have lunch together, we actually discovered, actually, it didn't really matter this time and space, this huge difference. We could work together upon this, and that actually um, writers are writers wherever we come from. Yes, and it's like, you know, uh, the other anthology, The, the Unknowable, uh, became a kind of knowable project here yes. because when we all met yeah. and that intimacy, you know, the word intimacy I think is also very important here, that kind of unites or bonds all these journeys, all these voyages that take place, not only Warwick and Monash, but around the world. And uh, that's the kind of project it was, isn't it? How yes. it, it is. Yes. Yeah. And the writers in the book, aren't just from a, an academic context, they're also from outside the, outside the universities. And I think one of the most unusual things about this too, and one of the things that you, I think, took even more seriously than we did, was that you drew your writers not just from uh, science, humanities and social science, but also from your administration. Can you, can you say a bit about that? Yes, it's, it's strange how when you actually look for it, the talent is not just in a kind of niche place of creative writing program, but spread around the world and it was wonderful including the Vice Chancellor of Monash to find that he is a poet as well, that he can contribute to this kind of creativity which lifts the profile I think of the university itself, that there is this kind of creativity among science people, among administrative people, among all faculties. You just only have to look at it, look yes. for it. Yes. Uh, I've been here to take part in the uh, Melbourne Writers Festival and uh, I witnessed an event yesterday which was the launch of the Unknowable uh, book. I thought it was absolutely fabulous. Um, uh, but one of the things I, I think is really interesting about the project here is basically you've got two books here. You've got, you've got uh, The Verge, which is a, a great traditional book book. It looks beautiful. And this strange monster called The Voyage, which will take physical form, it's true, it will be, it will be a book book. Thus it's going to be uh, launched and downloaded onto eight different platforms. It's, uh, you can, as you get it on Kindle, you can get it on Amazon, you can get it on your, your iPhone, onto, your, on, on, onto any kind of device that you can lay your hands on, in fact. And it's completely free. Um, this, is a, this is kind of interesting and strange and new because it's kind of redefining what a book actually is. What writing at its best actually can be. And also, it's kind of redefining the market. It's, one of the things I thought that was, that was quite interesting with this is that there's, there's so much uh, attached to the production of a book, other than the writing of the book. There's the, ma the making of the book, the physical making of the book, the marketing of the book, the editing of the book, the selling of the book, uh, the whole commercial uh, apparatus that lies around and on top, if you like, of the author or authors. And yet, with a project like this, the quality of the writing is just as high as anything you might buy from a bookshop, except it's free. Yes, and the outreach that is also yes. wonderful. It's also, I think, uh, something unusual for an academic uh, publication or a creative writing coming out of an academic publication 
that we can reach out to a wonderful and massive, huge uh, audience without having a kind of target. This has to be read by this person or five people, but it goes out into the world and makes its own journey. So that also in itself is a very challenging and intriguing project. I think that is inspired us. Yeah, and it's inspired me after being at a camp here too, because um, I've, I've never been to Australia before, so um, if you look at like the entire continent and uh, the birds and animals, but for me, things I've seen only in hopes of a film, and uh, to give you the first time an experience, the, the, uh, the, the, kind of the, the width and the depth of the culture and the natural world has been eye-opening. For, for me and mind, mind opening as well, to the point where I actually think probably my next subject for my poetry is probably going to have to be over here. And that means probably by coming over here a bit more often yes. actually in the future, yeah. which I'll be delighted to do. Yes, and I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm enthralled that this is just the first step of our own journey and we will see more and more visits happening, more and more developments of projects like this. And Maureen Freely and David, I mean, they were spectacular at the Melbourne Writers Festival that thoroughly spoiled them, used them madly. And uh, I think that kind of productivity, that kind of, has its own reward for all of us enjoying this together. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah.